Today I am going to show you how to make LODs for Skyrim. Let's get into it. So you want to generate LODs. Well, I'm here to show you exactly how to do it. Hi everybody, this is Sky King, and today I'm going to show you a quick basic guide on how to generate LODs. This is basic. This is going to get you set up and running and looking great. This is going to be sufficient for 95% of the players out there. If you've got custom meshes and stuff like that, this mod probably won't help you that much. But if you just want to get LODs for your load order punched out so you can go play the game, then this is the tutorial for you. We are going to go from this to this. And I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Okay, first things first, we're going to download four files. First one is Dynalog Resources. You can download with your mod manager or you can manually download, it doesn't matter. We're going to install this just like a regular mod. Next, Dynalog 3 Alpha, do a manual download. Next, Acmos Road Generator, manual download. Lastly, jump over to GitHub and download this file which is the LogGen 7Z. It might not be this version when you watch this video, but it will be a .7-zip file just called LogGen, and that's all you have to do. Okay, I manually downloaded Dynalog Resources, so I'm gonna manually install it by simply clicking this little box with the CD icon. I'm gonna click Dynalog Resources, let that install. Next, I click all of these top options, and that's it, install. Place this mod at the top of your load order. Make sure you let all of your mods override it. Now we have our three other mods, Xlogen, Dindalod, and Atmos Road Generator. I have created a folder in my games drive called Skyrim Programs. In Skyrim Programs, I have folders here for Atmos and Dindalod, and for Xlogen. All we're gonna do is open up this, the zip folder and just drag over the Xlogen folder here, I'll overwrite what I currently have. I'm going to do the same thing for Dindalod. Just drag it over. And then lastly, I'm going to do the same thing for Acmos. Acmos doesn't have a folder in it, so I've created a folder here. And I'm just going to drag that right into the Acmos folder. And that's all. Okay, now we have to sync those programs with Mod Organizer 2 so we can run them from Mod Organizer 2. Before we do that, let's right click our overwrite folder, click all mods, and create empty mod above. I'm going to call this X Lod Gen Output. That's it. Call it whatever you want, but that's what I call it. Click OK, and I'm going to click the checkbox to turn it on. All this is is just an empty mod. Up here, we're going to click our gear icon. And this is our executables that we can launch from MO2, and we're gonna add those programs. So we're gonna install from file. I'm gonna go to my Skyrim programs that I have created, like I told you, my games drive. And I'm going to start with xlogen, and I'm just gonna choose SSE logen 64. And we're gonna click the box, create files in mod instead of overwrite. And we're going to choose this xlogen output that we just created, apply. Next, I'm going to hit Add from File. I'm going to go to my Dindalod folder and choose TextGen64. Do it again. And now click the Dindalod64. And then lastly, we're going to click, click the plus sign one more time. And we're going to go to our Acmos folder and do Acmos Road Generator. And we click Apply and OK. Up here in the drop down, we can now see the programs we can now run from mod organizer 2 that we just set up. So now let's go ahead and start generating our LODs. I'm going to go to um, SSC LOD Gen, uh, Gen X64 and we're going to click run. Now here what we have is our settings for our landscape LODs and these are kind of particular but it's not too difficult. What you do need to remember is that we have various levels of LODs and each has different settings. So I'm gonna take you through these real quick here. I do not turn on objects or trees or occlusion. I keep those turned off. We're only looking at the terrain. 
And here is the world spaces that of which we want to build the LODs for. For this test, we're just going to do Tamriel just to make sure that it's working. The settings will save, so when you're ready, you can come back and click all of the boxes and generate LODs for your whole game. But for LOD 4, these are my settings. You can go ahead and pause the screen and copy what I have. You can also go to the step guide website and copy the settings from there. For LOD 8, these are my settings. For LOD 16. And now for LOD 32. LOD 32 is very important because these are the textures that the map will use. So I like to set mine at 2048. Even if I'm doing a 1K texture load order, I still like to set this to 2K. I found 1K just doesn't look that nice. Once you're ready, all you have to do is click generate. All right, so once that's done, all of your meshes and textures will end up in that empty mod that we created. And now we can move on to text gen. So what I'm going to do is click on text gen 64 and hit run. Here we'll go ahead and click SSE, or if you're using VR, you can click that. And I'm gonna hit start text gen. Give this a second to load up. All right, here's the text gen menu. I have mine set up for 1440p. You can set yours up for 1K. Those settings are on the step guide website that's linked below, but these are my settings here. Very simple. You can also work the different ambiences depending on what weather you're using and lighting mods. Some people prefer to have their ambient set to 100. I have mine set to 150, I just thought it looked better. But you can set yours to whatever you like, experiment with that. You can also preview what your LODs will look like. It's not that accurate, honestly, if you're using an EMB. And then once you're done, you can go ahead and click start. When you're done, you will get this screen. Hit, save, and zip. Once you're done, open up your Dynalog folder and you will see this text gen output zip folder. I like to copy the file path and then in MO2, click the box with the CD, paste the file path, and then double click the zip folder. Once you do, the mod will show up and all you have to do is click the checkbox next to it. Now we can move on to Dynalog. For Dynalog, we're gonna click the top right menu, go down and select Dynalog and click run. Give it a moment to start up. We're gonna hit SSE and hit Start Dynalod. All right, Dynalod has loaded up. First thing we're gonna do is click Advanced. I click the High button. Right now, I only have Tamriel selected, but you can select whichever one you'd prefer. Uh, if you're looking for a specific place or you wanna do your whole load order, click all of the boxes. For testing, I usually just hit Tamriel. This is my setting for 2K. You might want to do 1K, you might want to do 256. All right, so object lods, 2048. For tree lods, I select, I select ultra. The rest of all of these are checked. All of those at the top are checked. Occlusion data set to three, plug-in. Quality is eight, height of 500. Child parent, I have set to low. Down here at the very bottom, under tree, I have it set to level zero. Billboard one for level eight and 16, and then none for level 32. Flags is VWD tree and far lod. This is my setting for just the empties. Once you're done, all you have to do is click okay. Once you're done, click this button that says save and zip, and then go back to your Dynalod folder. You will see a new folder here called Dynalod output with a zip folder. Again, we will copy our file path by hitting control C, going back into MO2, clicking the box with the CD, paste the file path, and now double click the zip folder. When you do, you will see it pop up here in MO2. Simply press the check box next to it and you are all done. Now let's go ahead and generate some roads. We're gonna drop down menu and go to Acmos Road Generator. First, let's go ahead and go to SSE Login Output or whatever the name of your first output, the empty mod was called, and we are going to open and explore. And I am going to click the file path, control C to copy it. 
I'll close that and I'll now run Acmos Road Generator. And here you want the path to the LOD. That's exactly what we just copied. Open, click up here, paste, select folder. It fills both of them. Select if you want roads or paths. It doesn't matter. We're going to run both of them. So go ahead and generate paths. You want to hit yes. We are going to overwrite our LOD textures that we created. What it's going to do is it's going to take our LOD textures and it's going to imprint the, the path textures on them. So we'll just go ahead and hit yes. Once it's done, I'll ask if you want to zip the output, much like dying to LOD. We're going to say no, because what we've done is we've simply resaved them here in our xlogen output folder. So we don't need another output of this. So we're going to hit no. All done, okay. Now we're going to go up and change this to roads and generate again. And this is going to put a new layer on top of what we just created with our paths. So we're going to have paths and roads. So go ahead and hit generate. Here we're going to hit yes. Once that is done, again, it'll ask you if you want to zip the output, click no, and then all done, and then exit out. Your LODs are now done. Congratulations. Ain't that amazing. Looks beautiful. I love it. Let's take a look at our map. Oh, look at that. We got row ads. Looking good. We got roads. We got paths. Yeah, can't beat it. So that's going to be it for us. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it'll work out for you. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Sky King. I'll talk to you later. Bye, y'all.